What is up guys and welcome back to the Hackspot. Today Apple released iOS 11 beta 8. So let's talk about it. All the new features and changes and all some other cool information that guys might want to know. All right, so to start with, yes, on my iPhone, I do have a watermelon wallpaper. And in this video, guys, I am also going to be showing you guys how to install iOS 11 beta 8 without a jailbreak, without a computer. Why would you need a jailbreak? But anyways, without a developer account, completely free because I think it's pretty stable now. So if you want to install it, uh, go ahead and install it if you want to. Of course, there are still bugs, but I think it's pretty stable now. So again, the biggest feature over here in iOS 11 beta 8 are bug fixes and improvements, enhancements, performance updates. But there's also this. So if you go swipe over here, if you have this enabled, the do not disturb while driving feature, the do not disturb while driving, this feature right here, you guys can see, it is now functional. So that is pretty cool. So you will no longer receive notifications while you are driving. Your screen won't light up. So you can just enable that while you're driving if you want to. Another way to search for that option is by going to settings. It's going to search for do not disturb while driving. And again, this feature was there before, but now it is actually functional. So that is pretty cool. You can do an auto reply too. So if people text you, you can auto reply. Just be like, hey, I'm driving. Don't text me right now, bro. Or, uh, you know, you can just do what I always do and just use Siri to text. But anyways, also with iOS 11 beta 8, the new sync system with Safari bookmarks and a reading list that transfers to all your device and syncs between devices has been updated. So it provides better and more efficient syncing. And it's also better in regards to security. So it has better security too, which is what iOS is really known for. Now, people on Reddit have stated that Safari feels a lot snappier. So I'm on my iPhone 6 right here. And I don't know, I really don't have to use Safari that much, but people have stated that it is a lot faster and quicker and just more responsive. So that is pretty cool. Always a welcome upgrade. Now, something that I wish Apple would change with iOS 11 is this volume HUD. This is so old. I don't know why Apple still has kept it. It's so obtrusive. It just gets in the way of whatever you're watching or doing on a device. Just to put it in the status bar. Hopefully Apple adds that soon. Come on, Apple, please make it happen. All right, so going into my photos right here, this is when installing iOS 11 developer beta 8. So yeah, you can see it took up 55.3 megabytes. Well, not took up, that's how big the software update is for me on the iPhone 6. But over here, I have a screenshot of the available space before on iOS 11 beta 7, and I have 46.72 gigabytes. Okay, so keep that number in mind. Now let's look at it on iOS 11 beta 8. Okay, so let's hope it's more. So 46.66 versus 46.72. So in this update, we actually do lose a little bit of storage, but some people actually gained a little bit of storage, but it's not really that significant, so kind of like whatever. Now, the iOS 11 new emojis are still not here. They're probably going to be coming in iOS 11.1 once that is officially released, not the beta version. So again, iOS 11.1 probably will be there with the new emojis, and I'm so excited for those. I always love using emojis and having more at my arsenal. It's going to be epic. So yeah, guys, Apple's rolling these software updates out pretty quickly now. I believe on September 12th is when we will see the GM or Gold Master Edition, otherwise known as the final version of the beta for iOS 11. And after that, the public and official release. iPhone 8 is so close. But anyways, guys, that is basically everything new. Whoa, what happened to my voice again? I tried to find some more new features, but there's really not many more. Mostly bug fixes and improvements. If you want to see an official change of all the bug fixes, I'll put a link right here. You guys can see uh, some of them right here. There's a huge list, so I'll put that link down below. Oh my gosh, and I almost forgot to install iOS 11 beta. If you're already not on iOS 11 beta, here's how to install beta 8. So what you want to do is click on the link that will be down below the description. I'll have a link. So anyways, I'll bring you to this right here. Open this up inside Safari, not YouTube. And once over here, you guys see this Google Drive. So just tap on the download button right there. And I'll bring you to a profile on iOS 11, of course, to get this right here. So I'm just going to hit allow. But just to show you guys what you'll get, you'll get this profile, install it, and it'll reboot your device, stuff like that. It's going to follow through. And boom, you have iOS 11 beta 8. And from there, once a new beta is released, all you have to do is go to settings, general, and then software update, and here you'll see future betas once they are released. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, as always, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I upload. Hit that bell so you don't miss out. And as always, guys, peace out.